Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to this channel. I am beyond excited for this video because I will be turning myself into a fairy, fae, high fae of the spring court is what my current plan is at least. I want to dress as a fairy or as like high fae for Halloween. And this year is going to be like a bit more of a high-end costume, hopefully. Which means um, I have to like make the costume. And I'm just going to take you with me how, with how I do that. I've split this video or like this uh, costume making process into three bigger steps or bigger components if you want um which are like the outfit the wings and then accessories and like everything else that it needs like the ears and hair and makeup and all of that the dress i already own i will show you later because i will start with the most complicated part of this process the wings i've seen lots of videos lots of tiktoks of people making their own fairy wings and I just thought it was, it didn't look too difficult, but I'm also not very skilled at like arts and crafts. So we will see. I have all my supplies right there. We will be going outside for this because it involves like spray glue and spray paint. And I do not want that inside the house. Obviously all of this is kind of inspired by A Court of Thorns and Roses, that series. I've recently finished the third book, Court of Wings and Ruin and I feel like I know all of the courts well enough to kind of say how I would dress as each fae from each court. And if you guys enjoyed this video, and also honestly, if I enjoy this, because if this is like horrible, <laughs> I won't do it again, but I've, I would love to make a video like this, but just like as a fae from the night court, like that would be so fun and so cool. Okay, these are my supplies. We're in the kitchen currently. Um, what I'm gonna be using for the like the wing, uh, like physically, is wire. I saw, as I said, I saw lots of TikToks of people doing this. I will be like drawing on a piece of cardboard um, so that I have like a shape of wing, and I'm gonna have to like. I don't know how exactly I'll do that. I might have to lay down on it just so I know how big it's gonna be. And then I have wire to like mold the shape of it twice. But yeah, this is all like from like the garden section, honestly, I got this. Um, and then I have some tape to like tape down the end, like if they're connecting somewhere, the wires, I'll put some tape around it so it doesn't like poke me. I hope that's gonna work. Then we have some spray glue and spray paint. This is white paint. Um, so I can spray the wire with it. And then I hope this is gonna work. I have some iridescent foil like cellophane, which will be like the material in the wing. And further steps, I will be explaining while I'm doing them.
Okay, I finished the wiring. So this is what it's looking like right now. I think that's pretty good, honestly. They look very butterfly-esque, but I kind of like that. I think that's pretty fitting. I'm gonna put some books on them though and like let them get a bit flatter because they're not very flat as is. So I think that's uh, that needs to happen before we glue it. So I'm just gonna put some like heavy things on them and like let it stay here for a couple hours and then we'll continue but I'm, I'm I'm very like pleasantly surprised both like how actually quite easy this was so so I hope you can hear me now because it started to rain a little bit but I am under a roof so it's fine sadly unfortunately the pressing down didn't do anything so it's still kind of um, uneven and a bit wobbly. I tried to add a bit more wire, but didn't help either. So I don't know if this is gonna go well with like sticking to the cellophane. I don't know. Um, but what we're gonna do first is spray paint this wire white. So that's gonna have to dry then a little bit. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do it one after the other and it's starting to rain. <laughs> Alright, so this is the <laughs> drying setup. I have the foil here underneath, the wings are in between. It's all glued down. I hope this is like, I hope this works. We'll just leave it like this for a little bit and then I see if I can take it inside to like iron over the towel so the foil really sticks together. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I think that's the plan. the next day I did in fact not film anything last night because I was just done honestly <laughs> but today we're gonna finish we're gonna finish today we have successfully made the wings like this we have these the only thing that's left now is to connect them not like this but like more like this um, and put them on um, I will show you the dress first because I need to like see how high up the wings are gonna be. But let me show you the dress. This is the dress. It's long. It has these like pieces of fabric that I just love because I feel like that already makes it looks look a bit like wing-like. I don't know, I just love this so much. It's like this in the back so I think it's pretty high up in the back for wings but we're gonna make it work. So I will put this on now and show you. Okay, I am wearing the dress. I don't know. I, I hope I can show you if I go back a little bit. But it's like, yeah, it's like this. I, I love this dress. I love it so much. It's just like, obviously way too fancy for like any normal occasion. Like, what am I gonna wear this to? Like, Yeah, I'm obviously, I have to be fairy with this. So now, um, we're gonna have to build the wing contraption, like the little U shape, so that I can put it like right here in the back of the dress. And then I'll show you all the accessories and all that stuff that will make this outfit whole, hopefully. But like, look at these, it's just, it's just so fun. It's so beautiful. It's just 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Hi, hello. So you just saw my ear ring ear solution, I think. I have some earrings um, that, I, that have like an elven ear shape and I love them. So I think that's like kind of the best solution because they still look kind of classy, I hope. I just did my makeups and like, excuse if my skin looks a bit like red and blotchy and I don't know, I have super hypersensitive skin and I made a tiny little adjustment or like I wanted to try something out in my skincare routine and obviously my skin doesn't like it so immediately after like two days it dries out and it's like no don't like it we're not doing that so I try to do my makeup just as I usually would plus some eyeliner which I'm not good at so it doesn't look as I would like it to but it's okay because we're not gonna go that close to the camera for the final reveal and so that's okay. I'm about to show you the final reveal. Thankfully today, you can maybe see it a little bit. It's super sunny, it's super nice outside. So I can film the final like, here's what I look like as, as a fairy in the garden. And I'll put everything together and you are about to see the final reveal.